Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support. Um, this has been a wonderful, wonderful experience for myself, but also for all you Tauruses out there because such wonderful energies are coming in for the heart sign people in this month. And it's going to be a wonderful perform week. Happy, happy, happy independence to all the Americans out there and all the people who are celebrating independence because other countries tend to go along with the Americans. So um, I want to say to each and every person, this is going to be a fantastic week for you guys. Um, it's all about money. It's all about emotions and money, but it's good. And... Um, I am so grateful for um, your support. Welcome all newcomers. Um, welcome each and every person out there. I want to say to you, I'm grateful for um, all that you're doing and um, for the support. I will be live on July 4th uh, online from uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to join me live on YouTube, I will be uh, doing a live course for at least four hours. Maybe it's going to go more than four hours. So it's going to be a question, um, um, a Q&A section where people are going to um, communicate with me and that sort of a thing. And you can throw your questions out there and that sort of a thing. So it's going to be good. Okay, remember to listen to the July reading. If you haven't done that, go back and listen to the July reading. Remember also to do listen to the general reading and your sun, moon, and rising. Always listen to your sun, moon, and rising, okay? Try and find out when you were born, in the day or in the night, and look for your sun, moon, and rising. Because in July, I always do a segment in the month. In the coming, in coming months, I'll be doing it. Um, a segment of uh, the zodiac energies okay so whatsoever is happening um, with what zodiac is coming in so connect um, on the monthly reading okay this is a wonderful month because uh, this is the month this is the week I mean this is the week of the wheel of fortune if I can find it on the energy of the wheel of fortune I can <laughs> it's a wonderful perform energy and whenever the wheel of fortune comes up in a week it's a karmatic wheel it's a karmatic week okay the wheel of fortune is here and it is an karmatic karmatic week wheel of fortune is um, the energy of uh, um, the fire energy and this is wonderful this is good because what is happening is that you will be seeing different aspect of a karmatic situation coming back in your life and there will be healing from all these karmatic situation these are situation that you have had lifetime and lifetime before and these are coming back and helping you out so this is going to be extremely wonderful so this is a wonderful time for each and every person because this is bringing you a lot of luck this is the week of the zodiac energy of water so it's going to be very emotional and in the weekend you will see that emotional coming in because you have the prince of cups and you have the six of cups so you'll be connecting with families uh, some people will be connecting with families some people will be connected with other people so this is going to be profoundly wonderful what is your focus this is your focus and i think it's the princess of pentacles i have to put on my glasses yeah it's the eight of pentacles is your focus the eight of pentacles is going to be your focus in this week so it's all about the money i told you guys it's all about the money because there is money your week is beginning with a wonderful message of money so it's all about the money the princess of pentacles is here the eight of pentacles is watching over um your endeavor and it's going to be good okay Remember, if you do the moon rituals on the 9th of July, is a full moon. That Sunday, the 9th of July, is a full moon. So it's a wonderful time. Another energy that is here is that your um, it's as if um, your own energy vibration is watching over you. And and, and uh, um, yeah, this kind of sounds strange, but it can um, because your shadow side can be watching over you and protecting you. Because each and every person have a shadow side. I have a shadow side. Everybody has a shadow side. But this is good because it is as if she's trying to contain. You have the eight of let me try and get this going. Okay. Um, in the first day of the week, on the 3rd of July, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So congratulations to you. 
um, Tauruses who have been financial abundance is going to come, your birthday is going to be open and money is going to follow in your life like as magic, okay? This is a good, good, good start because you're having your burdens being fallen away and um, financial abundance is going to flow um, on Monday. A new um, sense of money is going to come in your life. On Tuesday, we have the energy vibration of um, the Queen of Pentacles. And the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, which is your own energy vibration, is here on Tuesday. It is good, but be, be aware and be careful because your enemies are likely lurking around the corners, just punch on you. So money is coming to you, but um, what is happening is that your enemies are, you know, it's as if they are lurking around the corner. So be aware of what is happening around you because there's a lot of people who are um, being very um, um, bad spirit and hateful and... Uh, um, a lot of regrets and um, just jealousy, plain jealousy and envy is going on. So be aware of this because your enemies are like right around there. It's like they're grumbling, oh, I'm coming in, you know, that sort of a thing. So be aware of what is happening. You have the Three of Pentacles, which is virtue. This is another wonderful energy it's in the middle of the week. And this is a fire energy. So you begin the week off with your own energy vibration, Monday and Tuesday with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, and this is good. On Wednesday, you have the energy vibration of the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is a very powerful, wonderful message and energies that are coming through. And it is letting you know that you're moving forward, but yet still you're about to balance your financial situation. So whatever situation is going on in this week, your financial situation is going to become balanced because it is the focus of the week. It is something that everyone is focusing on their financial security in this week. So in the middle of the week, you have the energy of virtue that is coming in with the three of the three of um, ones and um, you're bringing stability, the, the, the energy of the, um, the money. It's all about the money, honey. <laughs> This is wonderful because you have another energy vibration of money. And this is what I'm saying to each and every person. It's all about the money for you, Taurus, is in this week and nothing else. It's just all about the money. I'm trying to find my glasses. All about the money for you, Taurus, is in this week. And you have the two of pentacles and the energy of the two of pentacles. is a wonderful, good energy because you're balancing out your situation and whatsoever situation that has been going on. You're balancing it out and a lot of opportunities and doors of opportunities and help is going to come in your life. So be aware of this because this is going to be a wonderful, powerful week. Another energy vibration of the pentacles. So whatever is happening, your money is going to change and this is going to be good because a lot of opportunities are going to come into uh, in your life and these opportunities are going to open wonderful doors of support in your life and this is going to be um, extremely good. On Friday you have the energy, another earth energy of temperance and this earth energy comes in to say have, um, you know, have um, balance, uh, just balance out everything as it goes on, don't push, don't rush, just take it one day at a time. Balance, balance, and um, by doing that, uh, you're going to magic, ma magically change whatever is happening. So by ha having balance, because this is if whenever you're having financial um, problems, is that you're giving out more than you're earning. So what you should do is have a balanced way of you know exactly how much you're going to earn and exactly how much you can give out, and. It's teaching you on Friday to have balance and by having this balance and know how you can balance out your financial situation, you are going to see a better outcome in your life and you're going to magically um, be surprised by what you can do just by balancing out certain situations in your life. And this, this is all about the money in this week. It's all about the money. As we look at Saturday, Saturday we have the energy vibration of the Six of Cups. The energy of the Six of Cups is whenever you're connecting with soulmates and soul family and this sort of a thing. If your mother is of, um, if your mother is Pisces, um, Cancer or Scorpio, please, um, 
please, please um, connect with her because there's an imbalance in whatsoever is going on. There's, there's really an imbalance. Uh, you're disconnected. Um, and look in your life to see who are these people, these Pisces, these Cancer, and these uh, Pisces, Cancer, and um, Scorpio people, because there's a disconnection. Whatever is going on, there is a huge disconnection in whatever situation is here going on. So, you know, this is a wonderful um, time for you to balance out and see exactly what is going on, because there is a disconnection in a situation with your mom. Okay, and that's going to be happening on Saturday. There's really a disconnection, so um, be aware of that. As we move on and we look at this, we have the Prince of uh, uh, the Prince of Water, and the Prince of Water is the energy vibration of a wonderful, a wonderful um, situation. Um, and this, you for some people who are between the ages of uh, um, 18 and uh, 35, you're connected to this Prince. And for you women, this is a wonderful love, and love and stability of love is coming in your life. This is wonderful. This is really a good person to connect with you, Tauruses. So if you um, have been looking for a love relationship, but first let me go through and do this. Okay. Um, in the first half of the week, you have your own energy vibration, which is uh, the energy of the Pentacles. As you look in this week and you realize that this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday is at the energy vibration of the um, the Earth energy. And this is wonderful because it's supporting you because you're in a water week. The only emotional aspect is in the, uh, the um, weekend. And the weekend, you have a situation with family and uh, disconnection from family, disconnection from your mom, that sort of a thing. But yet still, for the younger people, they have uh, a strong emotional balance with a water sign person which is very very good because it's a perfect match the water and and the hurt so it's good because what you can see here that things are happening and this week um as we look at the first half is that you're prominent in your week and you're standing up there and money is going to come into you whatever burdensome situation you have or you had had it's, it's going to change because money is going to come into you. Another thing, if you're trying to manifest something in your life, on Sunday the full moon is coming out. So write, um, you know, like from now when you're listening to this video, write a couple of things that you'd like to manifest because the moon helped the earth sign people to manifest um, a certain aspect in their lives because the energy vibration of the eight of pentacles is here, which is also another. You are all over with the pentacles, down is in here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So this is um, a very good. As we look at the second half of the week, we have you balancing out your emotional um, self, but also money, because this is working. Whenever your money is good, you're emotionally balanced, okay? Both work together. And um, again, the, it, this second half of the week is for the people between the ages of 18 and 35. There is love and there is a good stability love in your life. And this is wonderful. As we look at the, um, um, Friday, you had temperance. And temperance is a wonderful and a strong stability because it's another earth sign. So you have um monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday um thursday and friday because wednesday's a fire energy that stands up in your week and this is wonderful because it's supporting you because it's moving you out and it's bringing balance your numbers are going to be the number four energy four four is going to be your number for this week it's going to be a wonderful promising week as i look at love love is wonderful um, a connection with a family a whole lot of connection with a family new people are going to be coming in your lives and they are going to be a love mate so for some people love with the family is profoundly wonderful um, for some people um, especially with people who are between 18 and 35 there is positive the love of the relationship that you're in is a good relationship this has a strong ground and it is it is built on strong ground so this is going to be good um for some people there is new love coming in new love is coming in and um this love people are going to be connecting with each other 
and this love is going to bring forward wonderful positive new energies and new um, situations in your life and this is going to be wonderful because what is going to happen is that we are going to <coughs> sorry we are going to connect with the right people at the right time and this is going to be a wonderful wonderful time okay my computer <coughs> and then i'm going so fast okay all right um <coughs> we're working with a vortex this week and um, here we go wow <coughs> you guys are always having wonderful uh, messages from the vortex by my attention to things I am making choices that's true what people do not understand is that you do not choose some things by looking at it and shouting yes I would like some of that you make your choice by your attention to things in this universe that is based on attraction when you look at an unwanted thing, your attraction to it is causing an attraction of the vibration within you. And then the law of attraction brings more like that into your experience. So be aware. Next time you see someone and you're thinking, oh my God, why are they so fat? No, don't do it because you're attracting it to yourself. Okay. So remember, I'm going to read it again. By my attraction to things, I am making choices. What people do not understand is that you do not choose something by looking at it and shouting. Yes, I would like some of that. Yes, make your choice by your attention to, to things. In this universe that is based on attraction, when you look at an unwanted thing, your attention to it is causing an autom automatically um, automated attraction of the vibration within you and then the law of attraction brings more like it into your experience so be aware of this be aware of what you're looking at be aware of um, certain things that are coming in your life be aware of these situations that what is um, going on around you because try and Attract the positive things. This is what I want. I'd like a relationship like this. I'd like a guy like this. I want to be happy. I want to be blessed. If you see someone like that, then not being jealous, but being happy for that person, you automatically attract it. And here we are working with another wonderful card set, which I think is so beautiful. And it is the Universal of Attraction card set. And this is good. This is a wonderful week. I always start the month off with the notes from the universe of unabundance. Okay. You know possible what is happening, creating a lot of responsibility, enormous responsibility, huge responsibility. Sometimes some things to think about. Really. Five for five minutes a day in a dark and quiet room. See yourself being really, really, really responsible with um, and fabulous wealth. So, you know, imagine yourself, you know, place yourself in a room, a dark, quiet room, and imagine yourself just in the abundancy, all the abundancy that you have to, the looks that you'd like to have around you. And do this because what is going to happen is that you are going to manifest that in your life. It is a way of manifesting things in your life. Again, it's going to be a wonderful um, week. It's all about the money. You begin the week with money. You end the week with balance. And you're having emotional stuff. You're working with other people. This is very good because you're connected. It's a wonderful energy vibration because we are changing our energy vibration and this is a very powerful week for that to take place and that to happen um a lot of new opportunities are coming in for people 
um, it's all about a week of uh, co combining money with emotions. So it's a money and emotional week, but work is positive, but work is going well. You guys are moving and looking for something else that you can break out yourself in, and this is positive, okay? I want to say to each and every person, join me on 4th of July Live on YouTube. And um, please like, share these videos, and have a wonderful, wonderful Independence Day. And I will speak to you next week. Namaste.